Hello, welcome to a second video on promises. Now, uh, what I, I think if you watched the previous video, I talked about the idea of a promise, how to use uh, a promise with this function called fetch, which retrieves uh, data from a URL and a variety of other things. And I looked at how you, res how you, when the promise finishes, how you use then to execute code and how you use catch if there's an error and you can chain promises if there's a bunch of things happening in sequence. So that's what I tried to look at so far in the previous video. Now I'm actually gonna take a step back here and in a way do something much simpler uh, and probably less important, but maybe we'll give some good background foundational knowledge. And so I'm gonna talk about uh, uh, how to make your own promise. And just in case, maybe you're here for like, a, uh, or how to keep your own, how to keep your, how to keep your own promises. <laughs> and if you're here for like a self-help video, unfortunately that's not what this is, but maybe you wanna learn about coding. You might wanna go to the um, beginner ones though, but eh, maybe this could be the first video you watch. Anyway how to make your own promise. So let's come with me over here. <laughs> and um, so this is more relevant probably if you are the developer of a JavaScript library and you wanna support promises in your library. Most of the stuff that I'm going to do will involve making use of other libraries that give me promises <laughs> and I <laughs> take those promises and hope that they're kept. And also, I'm actually eventually gonna get to this like new, I think these are part of ES, um, I think it's uh, 2,793 and 402. <laughs> it's not even a number. <laughs> 2,900, uh, that's, t anyway, I think it's actually just ES7. I was trying to make a joke there. Um, but I'm actually gonna use async and await, await the keywords to write an asynchronous function that returns a promise. But I'm stepping through this stuff one step at a time. So come back over here with me. And so I've got a little P5 sketch. There's nothing about this that you need P5 for, but it's my uh, comfort object. You know, when you're small and you have your little lovey that you sleep with, P5 is like my little lovey that I code with. And um, so what does this do? This in setup, I don't make a canvas, I call set timeout. If you don't know what set timeout is, I have a whole video about that, um, which executes a callback, the say hello function, 1000 milliseconds later, and that makes a paragraph hello. So let me go to the browser and you can see one second later, boom, hello. And if I made this uh, 5000 or 6000, you know, six seconds later, that hello is gonna pop up. So this is the old, the old way of doing it in JavaScript. We have a function that's asynchronous that we pass a callback. So what if I wanted to create a version of set timeout that returned a promise instead? So I'm gonna write my own, and again, this is really, I don't know that this is something you need to do in a program, but this is gonna give us some background. Um, so I'm gonna write a function, and I'm gonna, this by the way is not my original idea. I'm sure you can find lots of tutorials that show this exact same scenario. I, I probably read a few of them. Uh, so I'm gonna write a function called delay. I could also call it like set timeout promise, um, just to be explicit about what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna give it a different name called delay. And what I wanna do is I want that function to take an amount of time. So that function's going to, so really what I'm doing here is like just this to start. Set timeout. So at first, I've just like basically, I mean, this is completely insane what I've done, but I've written my own function called delay to just call set timeout. And if I give that, you know, 1000, there we go. But what I want to do is I want to do this. I want to say delay 1000 dot then, and I'm going to use the arrow syntax here, uh, create p hello. So again, if the arrow syntax in, uh, is not familiar to you, a new part of ES6 JavaScript, I have a video on that. Uh, and then I'm gonna say catch, console.log error. So I want, and I'm, oh, I'm missing some stuff here. This doesn't need a semicolon, there we go. So this is what I want to do, I wanna write I wanna write my code like this. I want the delay function to, to delay for one second, return a promise. When it's done, create that paragraph. And if there was an error somehow, console log the error. And uh, yesterday someone was saying to me, I should say console.error, or I could put the error in the, in the DOM as well. So, okay, so this is what I wanna do. Now this won't work right now because it's gonna say, cannot read property then of undefined, because there's nothing, there's no promise that's been returned. So what I need is my delay function 
has to return a promise. All right, so I forgot. I need to return a new promise. So this is sort of, I'm kind of getting closer. Let's just see what happens now. Well, promise resolver is undefined. So if I want to make my own promise, how to make your own promise, in addition to just promising something, I have to provide pathways for resolution of that promise or rejection of that promise. So when I create the new promise, I have to say what happens when it's resolved, what happens when it's rejected. Well, let me, okay, so what goes in here? We need a function called deal with it, <laughs> deal with promise, uh, resolve, reject. Then I want to pass that deal with promise function into the, into the new promise. So the deal with promise function is a function that I'm defining to handle resolution and rejection of the promise. And that function is put, is returned with this new promise. But again, eh, even though I like to write, no one's really gonna write it this way, uh, you're mostly gonna see it as an anonymous function written right in here. And then, you know, if we're sticking with this ES6 arrow notation, we would see it look like this. So now, this is most likely what you're gonna see. I want this delay function to return a new promise, and I need to provide pathways for how I resolve and reject those promises. So here's what I could do. What I want to do, sorry, is I wanna call set timeout. What I wanna call set timeout with that amount of time. So I'm gonna use the callback, but what is the callback? The callback is actually just resolve. So, uh, and I don't need this say hello function anymore because I'm gonna handle what I wanna do. Uh, I don't have a callback anymore. I'm gonna handle what I wanna do with the then. So here, what I wanna do is say, uh, after this amount of time, resolve the promise. Okay, so let's just see if this works. Yeah, it worked. Now, here's the thing. I might wanna do more stuff in here. And so this could actually be, I could actually also write this like this as a function that executes resolve, and then other things could happen in here. But I think that's besides the point. I just want to uh, re call resolve because all I'm doing is waiting for a certain amount of time. But here's the thing. What if I were to say also, in addition to delay 1000, delay you know, um, promising, like this doesn't make any sense, right? You can't pass a string to the delay function. It doesn't know how much time it's supposed to wait. So if I run this now, it sort of just worked weirdly, but I want to make that an error. I want to reject the promise if I don't get a number. So one thing I can do here is I can say if, and there's a function actually in JavaScript, I believe it's is n a n. So is n a n stands for is not a number. So if time, is not a number, I now wanna reject that promise. Otherwise, I wanna resolve the promise after a certain amount of time. So this is me taking the non-promise function set timeout, which has a callback, and wrapping it in a new function that handles it with a promise. But better than just, call, so this, this should work now. In other words, we should see, we see this like undefined, sketch.js line nine, because, but it, I should really give it an error. So I should be able to say, I believe, reject new and pass an error, new error. You, um, delay requires a valid number or something. So if I do this, and now, let me just take this out here, right? So this now is the full promiseified, <laughs> promiseified, <laughs> that's not a word. Um, delay function. It returns the new promise, which is a function that handles resolution and rejection. And it's, if, it's, if it's passed not a number, it calls reject. Otherwise, it just calls resolve after a certain amount of time. So let's run this. This is, my, this is me calling it now, delay 1000. There we go, hello. And now if I say delay uh, blah blah, we should see error. 
and you can see my error here. Delay requires a valid number. So again, this is more likely something you would be doing as the author of a JavaScript library and your library has asynchronous code that supports promises. Again though, and I think I'm gonna do this in the next video, I am going to actually completely rewrite that using, and I got it wrong, apologies to everyone. So just to be clear, this is ES, this is so confusing. So um, let me think about this. ES5, <laughs> I don't know this stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna write this out, then I'm gonna go check the chat and I'll come back and correct it. So let me go backwards. This async and await is from ES8, which is JavaScript ES, ECMCA or something, EMCA uh, specification uh, 2017. This is ES8. ES6, which promises are a native of JavaScript as ES6, is ES 2015, I think. And then ES 5, I don't know when, e that's the kind of old JavaScript that with var. So things that are in ES 6 are let, const, arrow, and ES 5 is you know var, callbacks, <laughs> uh, promises. So JavaScript, this is the thing. JavaScript is like an always changing and evolving language. And as you know, watching this video in the year 3,122, <laughs> my microphone just, uh, none of this is relevant anymore. But thanks for watching anyway, about, because you were here for a self-help video about how to keep your promises. All right, what was I talking, saying? I'm gonna come back. I'm in the next video. I probably got this wrong. So in the next video, check this video's description for a link to the next one. I will come and correct anything here and talk about async and await. Thanks for watching.